Hey everybody, it's John Gress here. You've probably seen the back of my head a thousand times on Instagram. And like many of you, I'm fairly camera shy, but I figured it was about time that I started making videos so that I could share with you some of the information that I've learned along the way. And today I wanted to show you the hardware that I use in the studio so that I can make my life generally easier and also refine the pictures that I take. Now, this is really helpful for mounting a piece of foam core to a light stand, but you'll never see on any website this exact combination of parts. Similarly, you can't really just go out and buy this, but this would be great for putting a bounce card underneath your model's chin or putting one anywhere for that matter. But again, you'll just end up seeing parts available but never sort of the completed unit. So I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I use in studio so that you could possibly use them in yours. So the first thing I would start with to explain is really the destination. So in order to block light from hitting certain parts of a model or to bounce light back, there are different things that you can use. So for a while, to be more portable, I've been using Matthews Road Rags and what that generally looks like is this. So this is a flag that's fully collapsible and it goes into a bag. It has this unit right here that attaches to a grip head, which we'll get to in just a second. You might also want to place something like this, which is called a cookie between your light and your models or a kukuloris, I believe is the correct way to say it, or a cookie cutter but you'll need to have it, you know, held in space somehow. So that's where this hardware is gonna come in. You might also wanna use a simple bounce card. So I probably am really illuminated from below right now, but you need to hold this somewhere too. So what you would do in order to hold that is to either use a clip, like is what's on the end of this thing right here, and I'll take that off so you can see it. Or in the instance of the road rags, you would wanna use a grip head, which looks like this thing right here. So basically at the base of our hardware, or the most basic part of the hardware that we have here are these grip heads. So the one on your right is made by Matthews and the one on your left is made by Kupo. They're basically the same, except for the Kupo one has a really big handle, which I prefer because you're able to get more leverage. But both of them are perfectly fine. They work perfectly fine. There also are these studs that fit into them. And basically they're like a, I think it's 5 eighths a 5 8 round stud that then allows you to attach other things like the clip that we saw earlier. And now you've got something if you combine the grip head, the stud, and the clip that will allow you to hold that bounce card to a light stand. And now um, you can loosen the grip head and you can turn the angle of the card. And that's generally how that works. Now, you might also, because there are all these different sizes of slots in here, you might also grab the road flags, stick that in, and tighten that down. Now I can use that to block light from hitting certain things, like my face, or I could use it to uh, just block part of my body or to stop light from hitting anywhere. Now, if you wanna get it a distance from your light stand, you'll wanna use something like this, which this is a, we'll go piece by piece, this is a super clamp. It usually comes with a stud, um, but in this instance, we're going to attach it to a magic arm or an articulated arm. And that piece in general is just this. And so we'll put our super clamp onto our magic arm, 
lock it down. We will attach the clip to the other end. And if you tightened this end with this lever here onto the top of a light stand, if you could imagine for a second, you could then place the clip out in space wherever you might want it to hold your foam core or uh, whether that's white foam core or black foam core. And when you get it exactly where you want it to be, you just tighten down on this knob right here and that completely locks it. Now, this will get you about 20 inches from your light stand, but maybe you need to go further than that. And that's where these grip arms come in. So this one in particular is a 40 inch grip arm from also from Kupo, as you'll see the large handle over here. And basically what these are, are a 40 inch rod with a grip head permanently attached at the end. The only difference with this one and other manufacturers is it has these six flat sides on the end. Now often these are used in concert with grip heads. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this grip head on here. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing it right. Generally what you wanna do is you wanna put the weight, uh, to, if you're looking at the handle, you want the weight to go to the right. So I'll just go ahead and realize that we're talking about the flat side right now. So I'm gonna put the flat side to the right when I'm looking at the handle. And now basically what will happen is if I put this on a light stand, it's right here like this, it's going to, the weight is gonna pull down and that's gonna go with the direction I was tightening the handle and the whole thing will stay secure. Now, these six flat, flat head, flat sides that are on the end will allow you to tighten anything that has a locking screw. So if that's a flash head, then you're gonna be able to use this unit right here as a boom to secure a beauty dish or a hair light. And the good thing about these flat sides is when you put the head on, it's not going to droop or otherwise change positions. When you boom lights, they seem to have a tendency to go to the most neutral position, which is directly down. And that doesn't help you. A lot of the time that doesn't help you. But this flat sided grip arm, which is called their hex model, it will help you. It will keep your light exactly where you want it to be. You might also want to use, if I take the stud out and not drop it on the floor, you might also want to use this to secure a card. Basically, you can use these grip arms to secure anything either 20 or 40 inches uh, from a light stand. Now, if you don't want to attach something to the end, remember we have this grip head permanently attached over here. So if we go ahead and loosen it up and change where our weight is going, which generally will be like this. Now remember the handle's still facing me and my load is gonna be to the right, so it'll stay secure on the light stand. So you could use this then to secure the road rags too. And now you can get that flag basically, you know, right where you wanna get it, a particular distance from the stand. Um, maybe it's blocking light from hitting your model. The road rags also has, um, it has two different types of nets instead of solid black, and those reduce light in different quantities. And then it also has a white layer, which will reduce light and soften it. You can use that white layer either as a bounce or as a diffuser. So that's really helpful too. And again, everything collapses into a bag and you'll be able to take it on location perhaps easier than you can fold this up, which you're not gonna be able to do and take it on location. The other thing to think about if you're using a beauty dish or you just need to get something about a foot from your light stand is this offset arm. I'm laughing because I think it might be 14 inches instead of 12 inches, but I don't know that that matters. So. Basically, you just stick that on the end of the light stand. You've got this hard 
short little boom and now you can put your beauty dish on and it's right over the camera and nothing's blocking uh there's no stand now blocking you and the model another thing that's sort of similar to that that i'll use is this double header now granted i haven't used this a lot of times but i did have an instance last month where i needed to put two strip lights side by side on two different lighting setups on the same set and i didn't bring this and it would have been the perfect time for me to use it but i guess you can't use it if you don't bring it and that didn't really help that day the other thing that i just got is one of these hooks so these hooks come in a two pack for only 10 bucks i believe it's manfrotto's model number 039 and essentially what this lets you do is hang a strobe pack off of a light stand which is great because not only does it make it easier if this is a rolling stand and you're moving it around your studio but it also is like a sandbag a 12 or 24 pound weight that's going to keep your uh, light stand if you're booming a large softbox or something like that from falling over well i think that about sums it up hopefully that helped a little bit to demystify what exactly is all that stuff these photographers are using in their studio if you'd like to see more videos like this click subscribe if you'd like to learn from me in person come to one of my workshops just go to johngress.com workshops for more information anyway thanks for your time guys and have a great day i'm really going to be heartbroken if that didn't record